I'm back. I decided to start um a little arts and craft channel. Um Jeffrey's calling it a different name, but um I'm doing a little box um for Jacob. Uh the baby that passed away in uh two thousand fifteen. Um it's about due time for him to have something of his own to you know be happy in oh uh, I'm going to paint it and then I'm going to add some rhinestones on it and then I'm going to you know, put some lettering on it. Kind of like a, they're letter beads, but they were just as good as uh, anything else. Just be forewarned. I will probably have to stop this in the middle. I'm going to start off with coloring some, like, a moon and stuff like that because it is for a baby that passed away. I'm going to move my glue gun so that it is not in the way. And you guys can see that? Okay. just an outline of what I want to draw on it and then paint over it it's just a rough draft it's not gonna be the real thing I'll start getting into the good stuff later on. Ooh, I left my sticker in there. Bye bye, sticker. I'm not going to paint the bottom of it because that would be too time consuming. I will be filling in most of these with paint. And his name's going to be here. And his uh, birth, the, day, the month he was born is going to be, and the month he died, it's going to be here in a year, and then I'm going to put love right here in the beads, and I'm going to put little rhinestones onto the stars, I'm going to paint white, or maybe I should paint those yellow, I think yellow, I'm thinking yellow, so, take that out of here for right now, and I'm going to down some paint so that I can get the containers out of the way. I'm like a glittery uh, kind of paint. These will dry a certain color. I got more white. I'm going to grab 
the gold because I want the heart to be in the gold color. And there's my paint colors. And my rhinestones I'm gonna move for the time being so I don't knock them around. No extra glue sticks right here. I'm gonna move those too. Okay, I got my paint brushes. Move you guys over here. And here we go. Right now I'm going to start off with making a blue and white mixture to make a baby blue. Like I said in the beginning, I may need the battery change, so you might see a skip and maybe some footage lost, but I will catch you up if I figure out if I did lose some footage. And right now, I'm going to paint the sky the blue color. And no, I'm not going to wait for anything to dry because I want stuff to blend in together, like the white clouds. I'm going to put the glitter in the white clouds. A lot of people ask me, why aren't you more upset that you lost your baby? Why aren't you mourning noon and night? I do mourn. It's just in a different way. Everybody mourns in a different way. Mine happens to be... I like watching upsetting movies and that's how I get the tears out. Sometimes you just come around the corner and I'm crying at his ashes in the in the china cabinet because I know I can't afford anything to put him in. And now I found a box that I can put him in and he'll probably be more happier in this little box that I'm decorating for him because it's for him than in a white satin bag sitting in a cardboard white box with a clear coating on the top. A lot of people are like, why did you go off and have another child knowing that you might miscarry again? First of all, Jacob wasn't a miscarry. He was alive when he was born. He was marked down as he was alive when he was born. He just did not survive because he was too preemie. No, he did not go to NICU because his lungs weren't developed enough to even survive. No, that is not premature. I mean, that is not a miscarry. He lived for 15 minutes after he passed, after he came out and then passed away. He was very much alive. I watched him, his heartbeat stop.
I held him in his arm, in my arms until he passed away. I did not want to let him go until I knew his heart had stopped. And now we have our little Benjamin. He's a ball of energy, being three years old. I love that little guy to pieces. And he was a quarantine toddler, so he doesn't have much interaction with other people out there. He's afraid of almost everything. Bugs. Because he wasn't out in the open through most of his life. Uh, weed whackers, lawnmowers. The kids just on our vacation just learned how fun water is in a pool. Because of COVID, nobody wanted to open any pools or anything like that. And he had fun. He had fun. He played in the water and he was a happy little boy. Until we got out. <laughs> and all you toddlers. And three year olds up to down to two to one years old know what it's like when it when a toddler likes something and you're taking them away from it, like the park or the pool or you know, playscape at a McDonald's or something like that. Last time we went to a playscape Benjamin was he was two and now he's almost four it's hard to imagine when the outbreak came out that he was only two going on three and it's hard you know he was barely even out anyway when he was you know two years old because he was still so little Everybody's like, he shouldn't be afraid of much. He's only three. You didn't live in quarantine when you were three. You didn't live with a virus when you were three. happy now I'm not crying as much as I used to in the beginning yes I did cry when I lost Jacob but I found the little closure my closure was having just one more little dude in my life but it wasn't to make up for the loss that I had. And it wasn't to fill that empty void either, as people say. And I just needed to know I could have another baby and that baby would survive. Well, <laughs> he did. with much difficulty in my first trimester is placenta tour and I don't know how because I was mostly on my butt the whole time <laughs> didn't do much when I got pregnant with Benjamin but I put myself in bed rest. The doctor said, oh, you'll be fine, you'll be fine. I put myself on bed rest so I wouldn't lose him. And that's how I gained so much weight.
And that's why it's so hard to get it off. But I put myself in bed rest. And he, the bleeding stopped. And he was a healthy eight pound baby. He's, he's a terror, but I love him to pieces. Move these guys around so you can get different angles of it. I'm blending more paint because it seems to be running out real quick. I am almost done with this end and I will be spinning around to do, to do the other side. Excuse me. Just before I started recording I was like, alright, I'm going to hesitate on hitting that record button because my neighbor decided they wanted to weed whack. Yeah. Weed whack. Of all times of the day, they wanted to weed whack at this time of night. I live in Michigan, so right now, it's, let's see, 8. <laughs> but I'm going to change the batteries, and I will be right back. Okay, now here we go. I changed the batteries. I got paint all over my paintbrush. There's a big pause for you guys. And couldn't figure out how my batteries weren't working. So if you hear anything in the background, it's either somebody weed whacking, blowing their lawn, or my kids yelling in the background. Either one. And yes, I have glitter paint all over my hands. I am not thrilled about that. But I guess that comes with painting. The reason why I'm using the smaller brush is so that I can get the intricate detail in the painting around the stars and stuff. I don't want to mess up the outline because I will be doing them in yellow and then I will outline them in a black sharpie so that everything will just pop a little making more blue light blue paint Seem to be running out real easy. Yes, you will get some awkward silence here and there. I'm sorry. <laughs> cannot control that. I cannot do music or anything on here because I will get in trouble by YouTube. My husband is going to leave it on not cute friendly, but I know a lot of people are going to allow their kids to watch. Look at that, it's already drying. Cool. Go for it. I don't mind. It is kid friendly. Except for the first part of my 
YouTube channel. I'm not deleting. I don't think he's going to delete any of my haunted videos because I have asked him not to. I will be doing inappropriate drawing on my channel. No, it will not be sexual inappropriate. Just sometimes I might add blood or like gore into my um drawing I will be doing certain characters kissing um probably a little groping in my photos um that one I don't know I'll have to practice on that kind of stuff but I love my little camera and my little camera here is really good for this kind of stuff because the tripod we have it gets top heavy and there's a heavy 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 camera on the end of it so it tends to tip over if I move something the wrong way so it's perfect for what I'm doing right here right now but I am almost done with this blue which I am excited Okay, flip it back over to the front. Okay, see I've got glitter paint on me. Look at that glitter paint. Don't know if you can see it, but it's glitter paint. <laughs> there we go, I'll cut it off, I'll move it off. Alright, now, I'm going to take white paint with a different brush and I'm just gonna tap it on to do the cloud and you see how that makes a little cloud kind of like if you were doing your little kid's bedroom you just kind of tap the little cloud on And it does the little thing for you. <laughs> that sounds gross. And then I'm going to wipe some of this off. I okay, just smeared. You see? Some clouds are not perfect. I'm just going to wipe it on my little table here. Now I'm going to take my little brush here into the yellow. Do you remember those stars? Ta-da! Look at that little star there. See? Isn't that pretty? Pretty little star. No, you can see a little star in there. There you go. And 
Now, I'm adding another one. It's not hard to paint a star. Bam! Another star. I do not take requests yet on what to draw. But I might one day. Right now I'm still new and I gotta get my experience up with painting and drawing. At the end of this video I will show you couple of my drawings that I have done. Um, off camera. You will see my son on here every once in a while. Just he wants to show you that he can paint too and draw. He learned it from me. I'm sorry, you guys. My camera just totally like went poop. I don't know how far I got into it, but I'm on the moon right now, and I'm painting the moon in. And I'm touching up some of the stars to make them look more like stars. <laughs> Flipping. Okay. There we go. Dab, 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 dab. <laughs> I love doing clouds. They're so cool. I do not have any varnish, but in the future I will get some. disease stars while I'm on this side. I have very rude neighbors so if you hear music go by I am so sorry. They are extremely rude neighbors. Just drive by with the music blaring. Sometimes they even play their music at 2 a.m. <sighs> In their houses, when everybody is asleep, waking up my child. Because he hates loud noises, so if something bangs outside or somebody's talking outside, he freaks out. Fireworks, loud noises, people screaming. He doesn't like it. Covers his ears every time. So I'm thinking he might have a 
small thing of autism. But nobody wants to believe me. I think I'm cuckoo. So, the cuckoo one thinks the, her kid is cuckoo. We all like watching anime. Please, can you write down in this description of what kind of anime I should watch? Because I'm into anime and I wanted to watch some good anime. Right now, I'm not really watching anything particular. And I would like to start watching something particular. I'm a big anime fan. My husband just got me these beautiful Sailor Moon earrings that I absolutely love. And I don't remember where I put them. I think I put them up somewhere. But they are absolutely beautiful. And I wanted to put them on later. I believe that all of my almost intricate details are almost done on my little box for Jacob here. No, I will not show him in it. I will not show me putting him in it. I find that disrespectful to show ashes on anything Facebook YouTube Instagram I don't show his ashes or his pictures anywhere because they are too considered upsetting and graphic I will try to post videos of drawings every once in a while. I will have to pick a day that I do my videos and my husband <laughs> agrees with it. But there we go. And I think these, yep, these are drying off. I can add my glitter. Now. I will have to wipe my white brush off. To add the white glitter to the clouds. Just kind of rubbing it on there. Just a 
light coat of white glitter. I'm going to hold it. I'm going to spin the box. I'm going to put this silver glitter onto the moon and the stars all the way around. And I'm going to put a strip of it right here. see it's a little and it will dry clear I kind of like this glitter paint I find it very pretty. I touched it. <laughs> there we go. Okay, I have this silver paint here. And it's gonna go on, but it's gonna dry clear, which I find really cool. You see? All right. No. I'm not done. With that, I'm going to find something to the box up so that you can see what I'm doing to the front here. I'm going to put a strip of glitter right here along the front top strip here. I'm doing the whole thing. Now don't fly it on me. No, little dude. Okay. Well, not the whole thing. <laughs> Just enough. And then here. I'm going to do. A strip of. Dark blue. You see it? No you don't see it. How do you see it? I've got to work on 
how I'm going to do stuff like this. strip of dark blue right here That's pretty. Okay. Now I'm going to remove all my paint from my desk here. And I am going to get another. Well, my paintbrushes and all the other stuff. Let me get another brush. Look at the other ones are really dirty. And I'm going to to put on here a pretty gold around here oh that looks nice I like that just think about it when it dries can look even more pretty. I'm not going to paint the inside. I think I'm going to cut this black foam here to fit the inside on the bottom. But that's about it. The reason why I left the heart for last is because all of this needs to dry before I hot glue. So I thought I'd waste some time paint this gold. This one takes a lot more time. Yes, yes, you are hearing my husband and my kids in the background they're trying to be as quiet as possible Jeffrey's doing my banner as we speak and my new name
but I did promise you all that I would show you my drawings at the end of this video and I will don't worry I did not forget That is looking beautiful. Right now, I'm going to open it. <laughs> oh no, I think I glued it shut. There we go, I got it. But I painted it shut. Nope, I did not. Now, that when that dries, I am going to glue, hot glue, start hot gluing. I'm going to remove the paint and the paint brushes off of here. And here is my handy hot glue gun. Oh, nice and hot. Okay. Okay, here we go. This is my first time hot gluing. And it is 9 o'clock already. My first time huckling, please bear with me. <laughs> All right, I am searching my letter jar for number one. I don't want to have to use a letter L, it won't look right. Or an I. Ugh, using the letter I sucks. I had it all ready, all ready for when I got recording. Doggone it, everybody. I hate it when I do that. I knew I dropped something. Why is that piece in there? We don't need that in there. Alright. Ah! I found a number one. <laughs> I gotta put them all back, guys. Time consuming. Ugh. I can't believe you guys are in like four videos now. Oh, I dropped another one. Oh, God, I'm going to have to search for these after this video is made. Oh, my goodness. I am so angry with myself right now. I'm like some of those YouTubers, if I could add in something going, ah, I would. <laughs> Okay, let her jar fall again. Oh my goodness. Here we go.
All right. There's the date. And I'm going to put love right here. One. L. Uh oh. Don't cut it. I knew I was going to need one of these. Oh. Which is also a zero because there's no O's. V. Ooh, that's squirting out. E. And hot glue isn't as hot as everybody thinks it is. If you get the right gun, glue gun, it's really not that hot. Okay. Now here I'm going to put a heart. Because there's hearts in this bead box. My bead jar. I'm going to put another heart here. And another heart here. And one more right here. Okay. I'm going to flip it over to the bolt side. Oh, look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh, look at it. And I'm going to rhinestone. Oh. I've been looking forward to this all day. Rhinestones, rhinestones. And I don't think it matters what size they are. <laughs> That glue is a sticky mess. Ah! Our trip to Tennessee was pretty good. Um, we got to the hotel. Um, we didn't even stop to think, hey, maybe our viewers would love to see our vacation. Um, we got to our hotel. We settled in. Um, we got Benjamin's um, little crib. And... The next day, we, uh, I think we went swimming the same day we got there. I don't remember, but the next day we, uh, I think we just stayed in the hotel for the whole day and then, uh, we, uh, Went to the zoo, and then we went to 
a couple days later we went to the aquarium we went spent time with it, um jeffrey's mom and we played in the pool at the hotel some more and then um we went out to eat a lot and the this it was pretty cool. Um, I will show you the items we got from the zoo and the aquarium. Um, maybe in another video, but not this one because I am almost done with this video. I'm loving this box so far. Ow, that was hot. And as some people would post on their YouTube videos, a picture of something saying, Duh. <laughs> But we don't have that kind of editing program or editor. But I mean, just for the heck of it, I know how I said in the beginning, or in the middle, that I'm not taking any requests. But if you do want me to draw something, or do something, let me know. And I will see if I can do it. Um, if it's an anime character, post which one you want me to draw in the comments, if I have the comments up. Or go on my... Facebook, which my husband will put in the description below um, when he edits, and just send me a picture in my private messaging, and I will upload it and save it to my phone, and I will see if I can draw it for you guys on live camera. I mean, it won't be a live stream, but I will see if I can draw it um, while I'm filming. Uh oh. It went into my box. Haha. <laughs> you see that everybody? Did you see that? <laughs> One more diamond everybody. Bam. And that's it. All I got to do is do the outline of my stars and my moon with the black pen and I'm done. Jacob was alive, he would be, I think, five, six years old in December. Do you see?
Looks like it's a happy little box. They have a special person living in it. No, I have to hold this one because my letters are in the front. There we go. And that is it. And I'm going to write my name on it. There we go. Now, isn't that pretty? I'm going to use, it came with this like photo and I'm going to write something right here. Just because I really want to. Just for a little extra content. I'm gonna write right here with my special pen markers in blue. And I will put this right here on the wood, covered in paint so that it was thick. While this is still hot, I have some hot glue on here. Hot glue can be really hot. There we go. It's all in there. All right. And yes, I did unplug my hot glue gun. See. And I'm going to open it again. And it goes right in here. This little heart-shaped spot here. I put this hard plastic in first. And then I put this in like this. And I pull it down. And that is my box. For my little man. Who passed away. No. Yes, this is me. If you liked it, please hit that subscribe button, hit that uh, like button, and hit the bell for the notifications, and watch my videos in full. And I believe you have to leave a comment so that you can stay subscribed to me. And remember, 
art relieves stress sometimes. <laughs>